What's up, YouTube? Uh, Top City 5401 here. And now we're going to go through the rest of the binder card box. So we got Francisco Lindor. There we go. <laughs> and then we got Amazing Greats of Kenny Lofton. That card is sick. Love the creativity from the 90s. I've talked about it a lot. Sammy Long. There we go. A middle reliever for the Giants. Fred Lynn. He won Rookie of the Year and MVP his first season. There's Maddox having fun on a rain delay. <laughs> uh, I remember these cards, these milestone cards. They had a refractor parallel of those as well. So some nice Maddox cards. Trey Mancini. Mickey Mantle. Again, you could order those when you're a kid from the catalog at school. The Mick. Hold number seven. <laughs> That's a, a kind of some kind of PR photo there, right? Mickey Mantle, Edgar Martinez, Pedro, who's your daddy, Martinez? <laughs> uh, these are sick cards. Love that gold medallion. Cy Young Award winners, Ramon Martinez. That that's not Pedro's brother. That's a different Ramon Mar Martinez. There's probably been several in the league over the years. We got Machado. I think he'll be a Hall of Famer someday. Here's a nice Machado cards. Look at the shine there. Woo! Yeah, you gotta love those Revolution cards. Big Mac. I actually started sorting through my uh, the Big Mac cards in this collection, and I made a couple of binder pages in my A's Big Mac binder. So that's why most of these cards are gonna be St. Louis. Unless they were duplicates, like these I probably already had. But there we go, more Big Mac. Love these cards right here, the Grand Slammers. That's a nice insert there. So cool cards. And then Donnie Baseball. That's a nice card there. A couple of Yankee Stadium Legacies. Look at the shine on that one. Yeah, that's a cool card right there. Heritage Series. Cool cards. Don Mattingly for the win. All right, so now we're going to go into Willie Mays. Ted Williams' Willie Mays card, some reprints. I got to get the original of that card. Got to love the reprints, though. A lot of these cards I actually have the originals of, so I'm pretty fortunate. Nice stadium club. Nice chrome, Bowman chrome for the win. There we go. More. I wish I had the original of that one, which I don't. <laughs> 72 tops look. Really cool cards. Look at the shine on that one. Yeah, buddy. Oh, there we go. Another Ted Williams one. Love that image right there. Mazeroski. Perhaps he hit the most significant home run in the history of baseball. That might be one of the reasons why he's in the Hall of Fame. I've had discussions about that with friends. There's my boy, Willie McGee. There he is in an A's uniform, of course, from Richmond, California. The greatest player from Richmond, California. Won an MVP a batting title. I think he may have won two batting titles, actually. I know he won at least one. I should know how many he won. There he is, a candlestick. More known for being a St. Louis Cardinal, but he did play on both the A's and the Giants. Towards the end of his career. Maddox for the win. Mini Minoso. Reprint rookie. That's a cool card right there. Look at the shine. Mitchell. Kevin Mitchell. There he is with, I think he's with uh, New York Metropolitans on that card. Very cool. Won the MVP, of course, with the Giants. There is his uh, Sport Flicks rookie. Cool Mitchell cards. <clears throat> Got more to come. Man, that 89 season he had, unforgettable. It's so ironic that Mitchell won an MVP and Will Clark didn't. Because overall, Will Clark was the better player, but just Mitchell just had that one huge season. There we go with Molina. He'll be a future Hall of Famer. That's a cool card right there. Will to win. Yeah, he's a great ball player. Molitor? Oh, man. Paul Molitor, very underrated, I think, overall. Guy could just, the guy could just hit. Joe Morgan, 
There he is, his uh, reprint of his rookie card. Of course, his real rookie card is a dual player rookie. So I like these reprints, just uh, having it a single card, Bobby Murray. So he was supposed to be the next Mickey Mantle. He was a huge prospect. I think he started with the Yankees and then, yeah, and then moved on to the Giants. But he was one of those huge prospects that, that didn't really pan out. I mean, he had a career, but he wasn't, you know, he wasn't an all-star or anything. Dale Murphy, he might have been a one-time All-Star. Eddie Mofo Murray. Eddie Mofo Murray. That's right, guys. I'm, I'm going to um, censor myself when I show Eddie Murray cards from now on because I know a lot of kids watch my channel. There we go, Stan the Man. Musual. That's a cool, I wonder if that's a cutout from Tops. What is that? That's a cool card. Uh, Huh. All right. I don't know what that's from, but it looks like a 52 or 51 Bowman. Stay in the man. Mike Messina. Don Newcomb. Man, one of the, another guy, part of the Black Aces. Don Newcomb. 149 wins, 90 losses. Whip, 1.2, 3.56. Man, he's just a great ball player. Don Newcomb. Uh, Phil Necro. Shohei. Why did you go to the Dodgers, Otani? Why couldn't you sign with the Giants? I was reading an article last night, and it sounds like the Giants made the identical same offer that the Dodgers did. So obviously Shohei went to the Dodgers because he felt like he'd have a better chance of winning championships with the Dodgers. And can't really argue with him on that. So, well, I mean, what are you going to do? Matt Olson. Man, what a 2023 season he had. Love that pink refractor. These cards are sick. Oli. Oli. David Ortiz. Nice cards there. Fleer Ultra. I like that black border card. Big Poppy. Anybody with a nickname like Big Poppy, they got to be a good guy, right? Love that 83 tops look. Man, Mel Ott. Jim Palmer. One of the all-time greats. I know, I, I've heard a story. He tried to come back and pitch like in 1985, several years after he retired. Thought he could still pitch. But he couldn't. He didn't make the team. But he tried. Pedroia, there's a Cliff Pennington. Don't remember him. And this card's a trip right here. This one, I was talking with my friend Ed. And we were talking about how cool it would be to get this card signed. I'm probably going to send this card to a TTMer and see if they could get it signed. So one of my TTM friends will get that in the mail. But that's a cool card. There he is. <laughs> I mean, uh, you, you could get mesmerized looking at it. He's literally holding a card of him holding the card that he's holding. And then so forth and so on. I don't know how Upper Deck did that, but it's a really cool card. Mike Piazza, there we go, Piazza, Dream Team Gold, what's that from? That's an interesting card, looks like it's from Score, gotta love those hologram cards from the 90s, <laughs> really cool card, and then we got more Piazza, Busta Posey, look at that shine, man, Posey, one of my favorite PC guys now, now that he's retired, I've been Picking up more of his cards. I'm going to try to go a little quicker through here, guys. Love that uh, hollow foil action. Look at that die cut. Man, these cards are sick. Probably get a couple of posy pages out of all these cards. The Heritage. There we go. Nice illusions from Optic. Love the Heritage cards. Just fantastic. Got the whole Heritage run, it looks like here. Got the Golden Gate in the background. That's why I said puck it. That's a nice puck it right there. Love that shine. 90 leaf. Remember when that set came out, it was like pandemonium. It was kind of the follow-up to the 89 upper deck. I mean, it seemed like for a few years, every company would one-up the other, and that would be like the main chase set. So like 89 upper deck, 90 leaf, and I think 91 it was stadium club and so forth and so on. 92, eh, maybe it was flare showcase. 
and 92, 93 tops finest. Anyways, little history there. More pool holes action. <laughs> That's a cool card. Love that card. Nice pool holes cards. First ballot Hall of Famer. Look at that shine. There he is pitching. I guess he did pitch, huh? Last or in 2021. They said, go out there and pitch, pool holes. Why not? Uh, Tim Rock Reigns, Jose Ramirez with the Cleveland Guardians. Man, I'm still not used to seeing that Guardians. There we are, Cleveland. Jose Ramirez. It's funny, when you watch MLB Network, a lot of times the guys on there, they'll, they'll call them the Cleveland Indians, and then, you know, obviously they'll cr uh, cr quickly correct themselves, but it's easy to do still because the, the name change is fresh. It's not something that happened a long time ago. Here we go. Helio Ramos. I think his kind of window to be a everyday player is closing. He's a big prospect with the Giants, but has not delivered thus far. Yeah, that's a cool card. Man, I love that background shine. Anthony Rendon. Jim Rice. Nice uh, Cal Ripken Jr. God, these cards are awesome. I love his real 83 tops card. He has a funny look on his face on the follow through with his swing. There's a reprint, 35th anniversary card, I guess, is what it was. Uh, some cool Cal Ripkins, Wonder Years, Power Plus. That's a cool phone card. I dig it. Mariana Rivera. Oh, yeah. That's some nice shine right there. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Man, Lou Bob. Brooks Robinson, of course, one of the great third basemen of all time. Frank Robinson, underrated. Just a great ball player. Jackie Robinson. Can never have enough Jackies in your collection. That's a great looking card right there. A-Rod. Alex Rodriguez. He's... You know, he's kind of dead in the hobby right now. So if you're new, and I might have talked about this before, and you want to collect a superstar and you don't want to break the bank, A-Rod, fantastic choice. If I was new in the hobby, I might I might start collecting A-Rod for that reason. Pudge Rodriguez. Nice cards of Pudge. Man, he was such a good catcher. I remember one season he stole more bases than people had stolen off of him. I mean... How does a catcher do that? Julio Rodriguez. Carlos Rendon. There we go, man. All these great names. Scott Rowland. Of course, he's in the Hall of Fame now. Sergio Romo, fan favorite in San Francisco. Great looking Pete Rose card. There we go. Another one. What's that one? Blank back Rose. Interesting. I wonder what that's from. 81 Donruss. There you go. Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig goofing around. <laughs> So, Ruth, for the win. Love the fact that you can have a Babe Ruth collection without having to collect vintage cards. I mean, I, I can't afford vintage Babe Ruth cards, so stuff like this I really enjoy. And I'm able to make a nice presentation of his cards in the binder, so it's really fantastic. There you go, the gas station cards, the Atlantic Gas Station, Fleer, 93. Nolan Ryan followed up with a Coca-Cola. Love those uh, super veteran cards. One of my favorite sets, 86 Donruss. What is Nolan holding? Nolan's holding a Bo Jackson card. Nolan knows Bo. Jeez. Man, that is cool. I never noticed that he's holding a Bo Jackson card on this card. So there we go. Ace. Yeah, man, these are some sick Nolan Ryan cards. You kidding me? Just look at it. Guys, I got to get more binders. That's all there is to it. <clears throat> Nolan Ryan, collect a book. So sick. 81 tops. What a classic card there. Nolan Ryan with the follow through. Damn, dude. CC Sabathia, another member of the Black Aces from Vallejo, California. Probably about 45 minutes to an hour from where I live, depending on traffic. Salmon with the salmon. <laughs> that's a great picture that's got to be at pike's place market in seattle 
They have a big fish market. And of course, the American League team, when the Angels go up to Seattle, looks like they took that picture. It's a cool card though, I like it. Who's that on there? Uh, Randy Johnson. Oh, there's a lot going on. You got Randy Johnson on there. Everything. There we go. Uh, Pre-rookie. Pablo Sandoval making a play in the dugout. <laughs> Max Scherzer. Look at that shine. So is he? I'm, I, I think he might be getting a Tommy John surgery. He, he's expired his 300 innings. Right, guys? Mike Schmidt. Schmidt, Kyle Schwarber, one of the most fascinating players in baseball, in my opinion. Corey Seager, beam team. Corey Seager, don't say it twice. But if you're Pepino man, you can say it three times. There we go. Nice 78 Seager. Wow. That's cool. Look at that. Is that another upper deck card? Nope. Some, uh, oh, front row. Okay. Nice, man. Really cool cards. Zenith. Marcus Simeon from El Cerrito, California. Fan favorite in Oakland. And man, you know, he's got a shot at a Hall of Fame career. Simeon is just... I mean, I think he's been top three MVP like three times. And someday he might win one. We'll see. I don't know if he will. There's just so many great ball players in the American League. But I think he's a Hall of Famer if he continues to play the way he's been playing. Marcus Simeon, an all-time great, in my opinion. Oh, man, that card is sick. Such a sick run of Simeon cards. Chris Shaw, who is no longer in the league. Gary Sheffield, tools of the trade. There we go. That's a nice card. Is that numbered? Yeah, buddy. Numbered out of 250. What up, AD? Ozzie Smith. There he is doing the flip. There he is with the Padres. There he is doing the flip again. John Smoltz. Duke Snyder. Alfonso Soriano. That's a cool card. A pre-rookie card of him. Minor league card. That's really cool. I dig that. Alfonso Soriano. I think he had around 440 career home runs. Really good ball player. Soto. I love that ballpark. Uh, Giancarlo Stanton. There we go. Look at that shine. Look at that. Love it. Dave Stewart rookie card. You can never have enough Dave Stewart rookies. Next time I go to a Dave Stewart signing, I might get his rookie card autographed. 87 Fleer. Man, Dave Stewart. Obviously a fan favorite. He will never be a Hall of Famer, but man, he's, well, part of the Black Aces. And guys, he won 20 games four years in a row. I mean, if you look at just his prime, he's an, he's an obvious Hall of Famer. It's just that his prime, the window is so short that he's not going to get in. But man, just, I mean, I love collecting Dave Stewart cards. He's just fantastic person and... A favorite of mine to watch when I was a kid. There we go. I love the leaf Daryl Strawberry to go along with the Don Russ. Daryl, Daryl. Man, when he was in his prime, he was great. But obviously, the cocaine got a hold of him. Spencer Strider with the porn stash. <laughs> I don't know why. Every once in a while, you see a guy grow one of those. It's just not a good look. Um, I don't like... I, I just don't like pictures of guys with mustaches like that, I guess. That's a really bright Don Sutton. When I saw this card for the first time, I thought it was a Tiffany. But it's not. Just a really bright, vibrant example of an 87 Sutton. Look at how old he is. Looks like he's in his 50s there. Tatis? Miguel Tejada. God, what a great ball player he was. Mark Teixeira, another great ball player. I mean, just great. You know, guys, over the years, if you've been collecting cards and enjoying baseball as long as I have, there's just so many great ball players that get forgotten. Maybe their, their peak is five years or whatever, but when they're in their prime, it's just a lot of fun to watch them. We got Big Hurt. Can never have enough Big Hurt cards. I love collecting Big Hurt. 
He was so exciting to collect early in his career. I thought he would be the one to get a triple crown. He, he, Thomas was the biggest triple crown threat. And then, of course, Cabrera went ahead and achieved that. But Thomas, what a ball player he was. Love the guy. Nice Jim Tomei, field box from 98 preferred Donruss. We got Robbie Thompson. That's his rookie card um, from Sportflix. That's a really cool card. Robbie Thompson. Uh, he's obviously a fan favorite in San Francisco. Torkelson for the win. Gotta like Torkelson from Petaluma, California. Alan Trammell. Man, yeah. What a great ball player. Mike Trout. Hopefully he'll have a good 2024 season. Just such a great ball player. I'd like to see him DH a little bit more. Just because he's been around for a while. His body's starting to wear down. Urias. Andrew Vaughn. Yeah, buddy. Andrew Vaughn for the win. What up, Zach and Porter? I know those guys love Andrew Vaughn as well. There's a nice printer proof there. And then we got another Andrew Vaughn. Guys, when I'm done going through these cards, I'm probably going to send a bunch of them out. So um, I can't keep them all in my collection. So if you're interested in some of these, just comment down below. I don't know how many of these I'm going to hold on to and how many of them, but I'll... I'm going to probably send out a few care packages. God, these cards are sick, though. Andrew Vaughn, Mo Vaughn, Justin Verlander, an obvious first ballot Hall of Famer. Vogie, what a great giant. Love Vogel song. Vado, I guess, you know, I took him out of my current star binder. But evidently, he last year he had announced that he wasn't going to play for Cincinnati. But I don't think he's going to play at all. I mean, I think he's still going to play. Votto, Wagner, Walker, Webb, Logan Webb, Bernie Williams, Ted Williams. <laughs> oh, he's fishing there. I thought maybe he was in the windup. Ted Williams, Dave Winfield. Wiggity, wiggity, Winfield. And Carl Yaskremski. That's cool. Yaz, Yaz. Oh, yeah, Yaz. That's his grandson, Mike Yaskremski. He's been a fan favorite with the Giants. I think he has a little pop. He, you know, he could, he could hit 20 homers. So I think a lot of it is just because his fa grandfather is Carl Yaskremski. So that makes people like him right there. And then what, what What else do the Giants have? They just don't have anybody that's exciting. So Mikey Skrimsky is about as exciting as it gets. It's been fun watching him blossom into something. He was with Baltimore. He didn't do anything with Baltimore. Christian Yelich. Look at that. Oh, guys, there's a card that I wanted to show, and I think I took it out. So I'll do one more. I'll do a video on this last card, too, but I don't know where I put it. And then this one here. So Ed challenged me to pronounce this guy's name. So it's Rob Zastranzi. 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 Rob Zastranzi. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. Rob Zastranzi. Any of you Cub fans know, did I pronounce it right? But there we go. I don't I don't know that he... I, I bet you he played less than 20 games in Major League Baseball because I never heard of him. Anyways, a fun card, right? Tongue twister. So that's it, guys. That is the box of binder cards. I'm going to go through them. I got a few more. One more that I'll show. I might show it in another video because I have other stuff I need to show. So there we go, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. There is my stopper to prevent the cards from falling. Trident. Soft sticks. Keep your mouth fresh. Thanks so much for tuning in. And as always, <laughs> I'm just babbling away. Happy collecting, guys.